Hi everyone, welcome back to Wiktani Hospital's podcast. In the last episode, we discussed about erectile dysfunction in men. So for this episode, we will discuss about one of the most common cancers for men, which is prostate cancer. So if you are a man, age over 50 years, and have some problems with urination, you might want to check with your doctor for your prostate, because there is a very high chance that you would probably have a prostate cancer. But don't worry, today our hospital's oncologist, Dr. Tanik Det Satipon, is here with me today to discuss about how and why the prostate cancer happened, and how you can detect it early, and what are the treatment options. So, Swadikap, Doctor. Swadikap. And before we talk about the prostate cancer, I think some people still not very clear what exactly is the prostate gland. So could you please explain us about the prostate gland a little bit? Yes. The prostate gland is an organ in the pelvic area. Mm-hmm. Uh, they nearly locate in the front of the rectum and lie beside the urination tube. Its consistency lies in the mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So uh, what would be the main warning signs and symptoms of prostate, prostate cancer, Doctor? You might not experience any sign and symptom at the mm-hmm. early stage of disease. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could have some warning sign and symptom. That means the disease has been progressed already. Okay. Those are difficult urination. Some people is down edge pain, and some people have some bone pain that is sign of bone spreading. So I want to encourage uh, you to have a screening prostate cancer and need to somebody test regularly with doctor. Mm-hmm. So, may I know like how the prostate cancer is diagnosed? Yes, you can screen the prostate cancer with blood test. Mm-hmm. It's named PSA, prostate specific antigens. It is a tumor marker for prostate cancer. Uh, I start at 45 year olds until 75 year olds. If you are high rising PSA more than 4 nanogram per deciliter, or you have any sign and symptom that I tell you before, mm-hmm. urologist may take some tissue from your prostate scan for confirmed diagnosis. I see. Mm-hmm. So, when the patient has the prostate cancer, is that cancer treatable? Or if it's treatable, like what could be the treatment options for the cancer? Of course, it's can treatable. But the goal treatments or treatments is different depending on stage of cancer. In case of the Dr. disease, the plan of treatment is a cure. Uh, option of treatment are both surgery or radiation. In case of metastasis disease, the goal of treatment is control disease. Mm-hmm. Option of treatment is surgery or medication for stop sex hormone that stimulate prostate cancer. We together anti-hormonal target therapy mm-hmm. for additional efficacy for treatment prostate cancer. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm really glad that there are a lot of treatment options available for the prostate cancer patients. So as for the final question, like may I know, is there any ways that can prevent the prostate cancer in the early stage? Mm-hmm. The cause of prostate cancer now is still unknown, but the risk factor uh, strong family history, mm-hmm. obesity, and sedentary lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So I recommend you to control the weight and regularly exercise. And it's um, important for screening program for prostate cancer. Come to see and consult doctor early. Mm-hmm. Because if we find an early stage of cancer, it's, it's very high chance to kill. I see. Yeah. So it's a relief for us to, to know like there are a lot of treatment options for prostate cancer and like, a couple of ways to prevent the early detection and treatment as well. So thank you very much, doctors, uh, to giving us the time, your time from your busy schedule uh, with the patients. So that's it for today's episode of Prostate Cancer in Men. So if you think this podcast is helpful for you or is knowledgeable, please make sure to subscribe, like, and share our podcast on social media. And see you at the next episode. Sawadee